Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another first impressions for you. Hooray! I love these first impressions. They're so much fun to film. So anyway, today's is going to be about the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So that's great. I have mine in the shade Fair Sand which the little description says Fair Skin with Yellow Undertones and this claims to be a 12 hour makeup which is oil free and, and you get 50 mils which is a lot more than an average foundation I'm assuming because of the packaging I'm not too sure why let's just give this a go <laughs> um, I just want to say packaging is actually quite nice I think it would be ideal for travel because it's not glass or anything like that and the caps really cute it's like real bamboo like how cute is that and then it's just it's got a little plate so I haven't used this before that's why there's still that little thing so I'm just gonna start opening it now um, I haven't heard anything in regards to this foundation before but it just looked really really cool and I wanted to try it so that's what I'm going to be doing today Ooh. okay it's really really moussey and it's like yeah it's just really really moussey if you can see that tiny little bit on my hand I'm just gonna use a little bit and add more when I need to so I'm just gonna start off with that much but basically if you are new to my channel I have mainly normal combination skin I do have a little bit of some breakouts happening here that need to be covered and then a mozzie bite up here and then I do have redness on my cheeks um, so yeah we're gonna see how much it can cover so let's just see how this goes on my face and I'm just gonna apply it how I generally apply foundation with a flat top buffing brush this is the real techniques buffing brush <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna start off by doing one side of my face so far, I really, really like the texture. I think that's going to be matching nicely. So that was like maybe a pea size about, maybe smaller than a pea size. Um, okay, I think I need to go in with a tiny bit more because I didn't even cover my forehead. So I'm just going to apply it straight from the tube. Maybe that wasn't the best idea, but whatever. It's from a tube. I really like the colour so far, it's really adapting to my skin and it has provided my cheeks with a decent amount of coverage, um, yeah, so like my redness isn't as red anymore. It's definitely not full coverage on my first layer, I would say it's like medium coverage, but so far I'm really really happy. I do feel like it's not a little bit goes a long way, I feel like it's not like L'Oreal Lumi how you use like the tiniest bit and it does like your whole face. But I guess that's because it is thicker in consistency. I'm going to put a tiny bit under my eyes and see how well that covers as well. So I'm just going to use the tiniest little amount if you can see that at all. I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes. It didn't cover up my dark circles too bad compared to this side. Like this side has a lot of like discoloration and stuff like even minusing those two blemishes. Um, compared to this side, this side looks a bit more perfected, of course, because I put foundation on it. But yeah, I, so far I'm really, really happy. I'm going to apply it to the other side now. It's not like Kat Von D Tattoo Locket thick, but it is like moussey, if that makes any sense at all. Like it's not hard to blend out, it's, it's actually really, really blendable which I like, sorry about that. Yeah, it's really, really blendable and it really melts into the skin. I don't have any primer on, just to mention again. And it does provide decent coverage on my dark circles, which is good. So I, at this stage, I wouldn't say it's a full coverage foundation, but I would say it's a medium coverage foundation. Um, it hasn't completely covered my blemishes, at all and it hasn't really covered up my redness but it has done a decent job like on a daily basis I would get away with this but I am gonna do a second layer because it is a full coverage foundation say that much again I feel like I'm using a lot of product I don't know if it's because it's a squeeze tube so I'm using like that much so about a pea size at this point I'm kind of glad that like I was always glad that it came with 50 mil but at this stage I think the 50 mil is because it doesn't really go that far. 
Like when I think of a full coverage foundation, I think of Kat Von D Tattoo Lock Foundation. And at this point, it's not really doing that for me, but it is definitely on the higher end of medium coverage. The second layer does go on quite nicely. It doesn't seem to cake up or anything like that. I don't really want to do a third layer because I can see that it would probably cake on the third layer, but I do see that it's giving a decent amount of coverage at this point. I'm just going to blend a little bit down my neck. Sorry, my camera stopped recording like midway through. Um, but anyway, I can still see my skin underneath. I can, I can still see my imperfections. Like I can still see my spots. Um, underneath. It's really only masked my redness. I'm not going to powder just because, well, it's supposed to be a 12 hour foundation. It's currently 7.49. Um, I'll see if I can test it till 12 hours. I'm um, just depending on if I have light to film. But besides that, I will do my best, I promise. But now I'm just going to conceal my under eye dark circles just because mine are really, really bad. Okay, so I just concealed under my eyes really quickly. Overall, I would say if you had blemishes, you'd still need a spot concealer. If you had redness, it would cover the majority of it. If you had dark circles, you would need a concealer as well. But so far, I'm really, really happy with the finish. It's like a satin finish, which I really, really, really like. Um, yeah, I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I just finished putting on my makeup. All I did was... Um, like my eye makeup, obviously my eyebrows, some lip gloss. I did put on a tiny bit of bronzer just here and here and then a tiny bit down here. And then I also did powder underneath my eyes. But because I did put that concealer under there, it wouldn't have really mattered because it wasn't the foundation anyway. But so far, I'm really, really liking, I have a mirror down here, um, how... It looks like it's really going to a skin like texture like I said it's like a satin finish before um, and it's really really nice it's not sticky or anything like that if anything it's a tiny bit powdery none of it's sunken into my pores at all like my pores are normally like here and none of it's sunken in there I'm not too sure what else I have to tell you so far I really really like the look um, and I really really like the color match I think the color match is so nice for me yeah, I don't think there's much more to say at this point. It's currently 8.21. And yeah, so far I'm very, very impressed. It hasn't sunken into my laugh lines. Nothing like that. And I really like how it's covered around the redness around my nose. So yeah, I think that's as much as I need to say for, for right now. I will check back with you in a few hours. Hi guys, back for another update. It's currently 11.40 if you can see that on my phone. The corners of my nose are looking a bit shiny, like just here, not like my nose bridge or anything, just like the corners of my nose, that's generally where I get oily. Hasn't sunken into my pores and it hasn't started to look icky yet, so that's great. My bronzer seems to be on just fine like how it was when I put it on before and everything else seems to be looking like how I put it on before, just my nose is a little bit, a little bit oily but not like icky. So, so far I'm super impressed. So I will check back with you in a little bit. Hi guys, so back for another update. It's currently 4.41, if you can see that on my phone. My nose looks really shiny. That's generally where I get shiny first. And also my chin's a little bit oily as well, but I can still see physical product on my nose. No more foundation has sunk it into my laugh lines than what was there before. My bronze is still there, just not as intense as it was before. So I lost my tra train of thought just then. But for eight hours wear, I think this is really, really good. And also, I just want to notice that it's not sinking into my pores at all. It looks really, really good that way. So yeah, so far, I'm so really, really impressed with how everything is. I can start to see my redness on my cheeks a tiny little bit more. So I am going to assume that the foundation's starting to fade a little bit. So I will check back with you in a few hours. Hi everyone, and back for my final update of the night. It's currently 8.43, if you can see that on my phone. This has been on for 12 hours now. The foundation said that it would last for 12 hours, so let's see. Um, sorry about the lighting. It's pitch black outside, so I'm using the light in my room, which is up here. 
The foundation on my nose is really, really oily. Um, majority of it still is on besides the tip of my nose. It has gone a bit icky on the corners of my nose, but then again, I didn't powder and I didn't use primer. Um, my forehead is starting to look a tiny bit shiny, but that's still okay. And none of it has sunken into my pores and none has sunken more into my laugh lines than what it did earlier this morning. Um, I do think the foundation has faded a little bit since this morning because I can see my redness a little bit more, if you can see. But overall, I'm quite impressed with the stain power considering it was only my nose that really rubbed away and I could have just been rubbing my nose or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Don't know if I would say it's a 12 hour lasting foundation just because it didn't last on my nose um, completely well. But overall, I really did like the wear of it. It did feel very light on my skin throughout the day. It didn't really feel like I was wearing a mask or anything like that. It was really, really nice to wear. So yeah, I don't think there's much more that I need to say about this foundation. I think it lasted very, very well considering how long I've had it on for over 12 hours and it's still going very strong. So I'm very, very happy at this point. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need to say. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.